Living in Belfast was a political education in itself. My own family have a Republican background, but uh, living on the Falls Road, I saw internment, I saw the British soldiers, and that in itself was, you know, I just got a political education from looking around me, and at, at that time, women were involved. I was very young when I became involved in the public movement. At that time, we were protesting about internment, and we're on, we're on the streets, actually, and when the bits came into the area, you were always out banging bendage, you know, all that crack. And myself, you know, we became aware, right, you know, I have to do something here, you know, this just isn't right. You find yourself, you become more and more involved in that. There was a military campaign, women were involved in that, and I became involved then. In 1976, I was arrested and charged with causing three explosions and possession of two firearms. And I was also charged with membership of the Irish Republican Army, which I got 14 years imprisonment and served 10 and a half years altogether. Um, I would say the Republican movement itself, you know, while it treated treated us as equals, as equals certain sense, we were in prison that at the same time they didn't feel that, um, not even them, you know, people on the outside in general, society looked on us as the girls in our ma and we shouldn't really be in there, we should be out here and let the men do it, you know, the men are quite capable of doing it and they don't need women to do it, women aren't supposed to be politically active, we're supposed to be looked after or taken care of and not <laughs> definitely not participating in a no wash protest never mind being in prison we even thought in the early days that we were an extension we were always um, we were doing this to support the men in the blocks but at the same time we were on it for political status and we wanted political status as much as the men in the blocks but I would say our, ourselves at the beginning didn't have a good positive attitude well we were educating ourselves in there and through events, we became more aware of ourselves as women. So the movement developed and has developed over the years as regards the women prisoners, and we developed ourselves in there. It was an education on both, for both, I think. It became a standard joke in there, you know, this mother image, you know, we would, we would slag about it, and we would say, our joke was, Mother Ireland, get off our back, you know? because we just couldn't. It didn't reflect what we believed in, and it just doesn't reflect Ireland, you know? Maybe at one time people could relate to it, but today, you know, we've moved away from that, and we're not going to go backwards, we're moving on.